Hi guys, back again. I uh, just wanted to share with you my haul from... Uh, it's kind of like a toy fair, but every time I've gone I've found games and DVDs and all kinds of other stuff, so it's not really just a toy fair, it's more kind of like a... I guess a geek... Uh, fair, <laughs> I guess. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, I wanted to uh, just do a quick video on... Uh, what I ended up picking up, because there was some uh, pretty good, interesting stuff there this time, so... As you can see, a whole stack of DVDs. There <laughs> uh, wasn't too many Blu-rays, actually. I was surprised, I thought there'd be a few more, but... Pretty cool, got some uh, really interesting horror stuff, especially. Uh, like, I got this uh, Something Weird video. Uh, two disc set from the UK, so pretty cool. Uh, it's got... Freak... Meat is meat. And Frankenstein's, yeah, Frankenstein's Castle of Freaks. So very cool. They're both from their own discs as well. Uh, then I picked up one of these uh, Midnight Movie MGM releases uh, that are, so uh, American uh, DVD. So pretty cool. <laughs> pretty cool to get it. Uh, it's got Moto Hell, which I love, and uh, haven't seen Deranged yet, but um, I believe there is a local release in Deranged, so I might end up picking that up if I like that. But, pretty cool. Um, Blood Creek. Uh, this was pretty much just a one to round out the deals. It wasn't really... I've seen a bit about it. It looked kind of interesting, but... Not one of the first ones I'm going to watch out of this lot, anyway. Uh, then we got Sharknado. Yeah. <laughs> I know this one's going to be horrible again. It was another one to round out a deal. So I've um, a lot of deals that were like... Uh, it's like five DVDs for twenty dollars or something. So uh, then we got Big Trouble in Little China. So cool, very cool. Uh, another John Carpenter one I haven't seen yet. So getting close to having all his movies. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty close. Uh, then picked up uh, the Umbrella release of Funhouse. So very cool. <laughs> Look forward to uh, checking this one out. Toby Hooper film. I got Scarecrows, um, it's a blind buy on this one, not really sure what to expect on this one. Uh, and then we've got some more American DVDs, because there's quite a lot of uh, just American DVDs down there, so I picked up quite a few. I've uh, got The Brood, I've uh, got Basket Case 3, got the Blue Underground release of The Prowler. Um, a few of these I already do have, but I wanted to uh, wanted to just check uh, if my Australian version is different or my Australian version has been cut down or censored or anything like that. So pretty cool. And I usually do like picking up um, different releases of movies. I really enjoy anyway. So I really enjoyed The Prowler and the Motel Hell. So that's why I grabbed those. Um, we've got the Ruins Unrated. So that's all the movies. And then we're on to the games. Um, picked up a few things, not too much, um, just because I was trying not to spend <laughs> too much down there. Because if I really um, just go crazy down there, I'll, <laughs> I'll spend up my money and be broke. So uh, yeah, I tried to pick some things that I thought were really interesting and that I don't really see too often. So I picked up um, some Japanese Game Boy Color games. So first up here is uh, Mario Tennis. So this is pretty cool. Uh, it's got the instructions and everything, so really cool. <laughs> um, and I don't really need to know Japanese to play the game, which is probably the most important thing. And then I also picked up Mario Golf. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> got a big uh, no resale sign on the back here. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, those are pretty cool. Picked those both up by $10 each and they're complete, so <laughs> can't complain about that. Um, two Game Boy Color games I didn't have, I now have a boxed complete and they're the Japanese versions, so how can I complain there? And then I did pick up another Japanese game uh, for the GameCube this time, uh, SS SSX Tricky. So I actually do have a, uh, a freeloader disc, so I can uh, give this a go. Um, this is probably one I do need to be <laughs> a bit 
probably do need to take a bit more time with because it will be a lot more text in there. And then uh, last couple games here, so I picked up uh, this for display only Ninja Gaiden 2 for 360 for five bucks. I thought, uh, why not? It's five bucks for a 360 game. And then I picked up a few uh, that were in these kind of baggies. So I picked up uh, Midway Arcade Treasures for the original Xbox. So, uh, so, uh, Spy Hunter, Defender, Defender 2, ja uh, Gauntlet Joust, Joust 2, Paperboy, Rampage, Marble Madness, Robotron 2084, Smash TV, Bubbles, Road Blasters, Blaster, Rampant Sinister, 720, Super Sprint, Tubin, Clax, Splatty, Satan's Hollow, Vi Vindicators, Vindicator, Root Beer Tapper. So I've heard of quite a few of them, but some of them I really haven't, so looking forward to giving that a go. Again, $5, I mean. <laughs> um, this is one that just looked really cheesy. Um, not sure how this is going to be. It look, just looked really, really cheesy. So especially the uh, cover art's really kind of <laughs> cheesy cover art. So uh, Jaeger or Jaeger. And the last game I got was this Flipnik for PS2. So it's just a pinball game, but uh, yeah, just a, a bit more of an interesting one that I really haven't seen um, anywhere else before. So yeah. <laughs> And that's everything I picked up from the <laughs> from the toy fair. So if you have any toy fairs in your area, they might be worth checking out for video games or movies. As you can see, <laughs> didn't do too badly. Um, so yeah. All right, guys. Bye. <laughs>